Welcome to the August 2020 energy update. Well, what's been coming to me for the past couple of days, I even put an image out on all my social media, is yes to love, no to fear. Choose love. Everything is a choice. We all have a choice. We can choose to be in whatever vibration that we're in. And even when you don't think you're choosing it, you are because everything is based out of the choices that you make, where you're focusing your thoughts and where your energy is at, right? And you have the power to at any moment and any time choose a higher vibration. So the way it's been coming to me is say yes to love and no to fear. So that's really the message here. Say no to fear because these days through this pandemic and all this coronavirus stuff and the media is just pumping you with fear. Like don't even listen to it. Turn it off. You know, turn it on, maybe get a little hidden on what's going on and then turn it off, right? Because it's, almost, it's, it's well, yeah. It's like the powers that be, these more negative forces that want to keep us down, keep us separated so we cannot gather together the way we used to, um, so that we feel we don't have choice anymore because this virus is out there, which really looks like it's been totally miscounted as far as how many cases are out there. I mean, you can look at both sides of everything, right? So I choose love. I choose to see what's going right um, I choose to not fall into the fear and buy into the stories and that can get really deep I know I've posted some things about saying no to vaccines there's no way I'm getting a vaccine if you hate me for that that's your choice right um, it's all about power and you ultimately have the power to control your life and to choose what's right for you. So we can either choose to live from this high vibration of love or go down into the fear. Now there's this whole shifting going on from the third dimension to the fifth dimension or fourth dimension, however you want to call it, um, within there. And that, those spaces, the dominant energy there is love, right? Abundance and love and life, everything's easy and you are acknowledged for your choices you there's nothing stopping you from choosing what you want to choose and being who you want to be and expressing how you want to express whereas in this third di dimension which we've been all living in these days it's like there's this last effort gr grasp to try to keep us down and hold us down but so many of us are awakening and we're not going there and i would say most people are going to be landing on this video understand what i'm talking about and if you don't, and I'm pushing your buttons, just keep listening, you know, or keep watching more videos or just open in your mind to um, how what appears to be real may not even be real, right? Could all be just orchestrated. So, all right, I don't want to really go down. I don't want to do a video on it. You can find lots of people talking about these different things. I want to talk about what's come up for me the most is because uh, I, I kind of was going into fear a little bit the other day and I'm like why I don't need to be in that energy I don't want to choose that because that's what I will create from so you really want to say yes to love and no to fear now I pulled a bunch of cards um, normally I pull them while I'm talking but I pulled them ahead of time for some reason I just was asking universe do I, you know, what feels lighter? Because the truth will always make you feel lighter, right? Anything heavy. So I got very, I got it heavy on doing the cards as I normally do. And I got really light on choosing them ahead of time. <laughs> so I did that. Because I want to, you want to follow what feels light to you. What feels right to you. Because anything that's heavy is not your truth. It's somebody else's truth. It's you buying into the mass hysteria. Um, buying into... You know, people who are close to you who don't maybe get and get it about that we have choice and we have power and that we can live from love <laughs> um, and then you start taking that energy on and then you get sunk sunken down into where they're at right so you want to just be aware of your energy 
If you're having trouble doing that, go to someone like me who can teach you many different ways of lifting your vibration and of releasing those things that pull you down and uh, keep you from being your truth, which is pure love. So anyway, let's go to the cards, right? I picked some cards and I think they all actually do speak to um, what I was just saying, which I didn't plan to say. <laughs> But that's how it works, right? The stuff just comes out once it starts rolling. So we got the Angel of Balance in the reverse. Let's see, get out of the light there. Angel of Balance. Upside down. We got it upside down. So I'm going to read the reversed meaning for this card, which is, which is mainly about being centered and self-honoring in your choices. <laughs> First card, already talking about choice. So it says in the reverse position, the angel of balance comes with a loving, warm, a loving warning that something may be seriously out of proportion in your life. Like if you're starting to buy into the fear, that would be seriously out of proportion, right? Because you are love. You are not fear. So don't live there. It says it could be an important emotional component such as lack of self-acceptance or self-care. And that's another thing. You really want to take care of making sure you're getting enough sleep and you're eating right you're drinking plenty of fluids if you meditate all the better that helps you to stay balanced in your physical body and your emotional body as well as spiritual you know they all work together um so anyway it goes on to say remember however that when you put yourself last the universe will do likewise so that could be also what's going on right you're giving so much of yourself away and forgetting who you are, not returning back to who you are, not giving yourself the time to recenter and, and reconnect with your own source, uh, with your higher self. Um, when you start getting buying into all of that chaos that's going on out there, and you start giving away pieces of yourself out there, you're so depleted. And so if you're not going to be able to allow yourself to receive something you're not going to receive it because the universe is going to match your energy right so you want to make sure you take time to do your self-care and um, choose love even if it's just you say that sentence like okay I'm really stuck, stuck in the fear or I'm stuck in anger I'm stuck in resentment all these different things for what's going on move into that energy of love when you can and you can move back to your truth. Like just get centered. Just disconnect. And there's a card here. It's uh, Reclaim Your Art. We'll get into that. That's one way of um, bringing yourself out of being stuck in this lower place. And giving to yourself by allowing yourself to express. But we'll get to that card. I don't want to get there yet. Anyway, I'm rambling. But it says, Receiving this card reverse can oftentimes be a warning of lost energy calling you to relax more. Oh, here we go. Relax more, sleep more, even just drink more water. Investigate how you may be out of balance in your time and energy regarding the externals and internals of your life. Yeah, so you want to pay attention to you and how you're truly feeling. Sometimes we don't even take a minute to like check in with ourselves because we're so busy doing for others or... I guess, I guess even beyond these cards, what's coming to me more and more is when you when you get yourself stuck into that fearful energy of the world is ending, what's going on, this is chaos, what's happening here, um, you're really disconnecting from your truth that knows that you are always supported, that the universe does have your back. And so it's more like going with the flow. And I think this next card might have had something to do with that, I don't remember. But... When we can flow with the energy, the higher energies, right? When we can allow spirit or universe to say, okay, universe, what solutions are there for me regarding this situation in my life? How can I take what's happening here and use it to catapult me further into a direction that I want to be in? You know, like find ways to ask questions of the universe about the stuff that's pulling you down. Because even just asking those questions, choosing to ask those questions you start shifting that energy and then you can start saying okay what else is possible here what what opportunities and what possibilities are here that i'm not seeing because i'm stuck in the fear and not allowing myself to be in the light <laughs> right the love um all right next card i don't know 
there's a lot of energy flowing so I'm starting to get that really kind of high feeling uh, that I get and then I don't even know if I'm making sense um, but usually by the end of the video I look back it makes sense okay one ring circus <laughs> number 15 oh, sorry I got the ring light going it's a big storm here in New York and it's very dark outside my windows so we definitely need that light today so one ring circus reversed so it's all it says you're capable and competent so in the reverse if you think that the Sun won't rise without you then it's time to change perhaps you believe that no one else will be there to help you or to or or you expect that you have to do all the work yourself emotional or otherwise this is a fear-based data that only serves you, serves to alienate you from others by taking away their right to participate so that's even go that's even going a little bit deeper with the fear and all thinking that you have to do something to change it or uh, that it's your job and, and then you're not allowing other people to help you whereas if you would let these other people maybe assist you in whatever it is might be going on in your life we can always use help in any anywhere and sometimes that help is just by being able to talk to someone about what's going on for you or what's been on your mind or even about what you're fearing to be able to talk about it with someone is allowing someone else to come and assist you and help you so you don't have to do it all year long for me this card I'll read the rest of it if there's any more to it but for me it's more about allowing spirit your angels guides the universe God to assist you because I know for me when I when I stop trying trying I hate that that's that word trying to figure it all out you get kind of stuck with what your mind thinks it knows about how to solve something but really my best solutions always 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 come when I just let it go I'm like all right universe show me you know what 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 can what can I what needs to happen here what can I do to contribute to having a more positive outlook here or a more positive um, outcome so you want to allow others whether they're people in body or spirit to assist you you don't have to do it alone you're not alone we are all connected that's the other thing and and that came in too right before I started this and I guess it's because of this card um, notice how the world this this virus has united the whole world it's like it's not just this country and that country what's happening in this country what's happening in that country it's happening the virus is happening everywhere and it's actually maybe creating this global community in a bigger way because the truth is we are all connected no matter where you live no matter who you are what your sex is what your race what your religion we are all connected and we're all feeling this together and then that's why sometimes it's easy for that fear energy to come in because we're all connected and you're feeling that so you want to just ask well who's who does this belong to because like if you just ask who does this belong to like all of a sudden you're a really crummy mood or you're going back down into fear you're like I don't want to be here how did I get here again you might want to just ask well who does this belong to and you ask it a few times who does this belong to and if you start feeling lighter you start to realize oh it wasn't even mine yeah I probably had the news on or I probably heard some people talking about how the world's ending <laughs> you take it up for yourself so all right let me see if there's anything more to this card receiving the one ring circus card may be an indicator indicate the misuse of power give it up let go let go of the need of having to control how the wind blows and let other people play their part as well you need to be you don't need to be invincible have all the answers or be the savior things will get done if you just step out of your own way so okay that's that's good that that sums it all just get out of the way right you hear that a lot get, get out of your own way but it's true and the way we get stuck in our own way is when we're just stuck in these programs and patterns and subconscious program and a lot of it's not most of it's not even yours it's just stuff that 99% of it's not even yours it's just stuff you've picked up through your ancestral line through your family through your schooling through your government through your town through the media right we're just pulling in a lot of stuff so you want to always come back to center <clears throat> that's a lot of what I think all last year's readings were about was just really going within reconnecting to your truth who you are and what lights you up and so maybe that's why this card here the reclaim your art card came um, and I'm gonna read it because uh, I'm sure she'll say it better than I will right now let's see 
So, every spirit is an artist, and without art, it has no way to express itself. Because we are creators, right? We're spirit, we're creators. What is creating? It's an art. <laughs> it can be expressed in many different ways, right? So, it says, let your creator spirit speak. Write a poem, paint a picture, get out the watercolors and make a card, take a beautiful photo, play music, create a gourmet meal, plant a garden. Any way that you're using creativity, it always lifts you up. And when you and when that when you get it when your energy and you're vibrating higher and you get lifted up and you're now connecting to the love, inspiration comes. That's when the solutions come in. How many people have you known that were out of work that were you know like so concerned and struggling with it for a while? I know this happened to my brother-in-law at one time, one point, and there was so much fear and everything written in it. But then after a while, he just like, well, fuck it. Oh, sorry, <laughs> gave it up. Three opportunities come in. It's like as soon as you let go of the fear and you're like, whatever, okay, that's when you allow that flow. That's when you like you get to be the water and just be with the flow and allow things to unfold. Right? So maybe we can start ask, asking ourselves, what miracles and magic are available to us now because of this whole pandemic? Oh, that's a good question. Okay, universe, send us the answer for that one. Right? But don't get stuck in your head trying to figure it out. The answers will come. Um, okay, so it says, if you're comfortable in one art form, try another one. So it's more about just really getting out there, finding ways to express yourself that light you up, that make you feel good, that allow that creative, those creative juices to flow. Because when you get in, you know, when you're in a creative mode, more and more ideas come. And it's like, wait, wait, I can't even write them down fast enough. There's so, there's so many flying through. So it says, get to know your spirit through your own artistic experimentation. Enjoy your cre creativity for yourself. Your controlling ego will try to tell you that art is a waste of time and it has no value. This suffocates your spirit and sucks the joy out of your being. So don't allow your ego to scare your artistic spirit into silence. Tell it to be quiet instead. There's no such thing as good art, only authentic art. And yours is crying out to be expressed. So that's what this one's talking about. Because I'll go back to it again. When you're expressing yourself um, in that way, you are in a higher vibration. You are feeling that love going through all of every cell of your body. Even if you're kind of frustrated because you don't know what you want to paint or you don't you know, you just start just start moving. The creativity will come. You just start planting digging the ground out and planting seeds that's always a good thing to do get connected into the earth right so you can give some of that fear worry let it let it release down through your feet out into the earth because you know the earth will just transform it back to pure positive love energy and in fact i had a, a i did a lot of moving last week i had this headache i never get headaches i just went outside stood on the ground barefoot for a while and i just gave it i just asked the earth to take that from me and transmute it back to back to love right and then that it totally went away and then that got me into this really this great feeling of gratitude for how easy it was to release that headache by just connecting to the earth so then I'm sending love to the earth and to the trees and to the flowers and to the animals and to the everything you just get in you know when when you start flowing the gratitude it just turns into gratitude for everything <laughs> um, all right so let's see what this one says yeah, call on your joy guides. Okay, so I'm not even going to read it because I know what, I know what she's saying there. Because we do have, and, and, and I like that Sonia Choquette. I like the way she puts that, and she terms them as the joy guides. And that they'll show up even in, at times when you're maybe not even, you're like in this maybe miserable kind of energy and something quirky will happen or something, or, the, or, or your keys will disappear or something you know is on the table now is gone. Like, where'd it go? <laughs> It's like spirits playing with you and distracting you to pull you out of where you are. Um, so that's kind of fun. I like calling on joy guides. And uh, an another, I'll just share this too because it's coming to mind. Um, she calls other angels um, runners and runner angels. Like when, because I just mentioned that you, you don't know where that thing is that you just had it. You can ask your runner angels to find it for you. This has helped me so many times 
when I've searched everywhere and I'm like, but I know it was, and I don't you know whether it was these other joy guides playing with me or not. I'm calling on the uh, runners to help me find it. And always, and then I kind of would call on them and I go about doing something else. And then boom, it pops into my head exactly where the thing was that I was looking for or whatever the solution was to whatever it was. It just pops in when I stop trying to figure it out. So that, 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 that's the whole thing. It's like, we need to allow ourselves to be our truth, which is pure love, which is spirit, and allow that energy to expand out, right? I think this video is going too long, or I would do an, an, an maybe I'll do it after this, I'll do another video to just expand your energy out, right? So that you can really feel you as the biggest, bigger energy that you are. And it kind of puts things in perspective. You start to realize, wow. Like you don't even maybe fret over the thing you were fretting about half an hour ago because now you returned back to that true essence of who you are, which is love. Choose love. Yes to love, no to fear. So there's one more card that I picked. This one said time lapses. Time lapses. Okay, so time lapses. It says when, when asleep, you can travel to different dimensional vibrations. Don't be afraid of what is already part of your transformational change. Time is only man-made. So enjoy the liberty and freedom of timelessness and absorb what is being given to you. Be open to learning new things about yourself and the universe. So the way I look at this is I, I, I put myself in night school. So, you know, I know that my spirit's leaving my body and is going to go travel out. So I always request that... Uh, that I go out and learn something that will aid me in whatever this was I was doing or if I want to learn a new skill or sometimes it's just like okay the higher self you just take me to whatever it is I need that would help me to move further in my life I'll leave it up to you because you know better than me my higher self um, so I guess the overall message here I really want to get across is don't buy into the fear Look towards what magic and miracles could be coming out of all this. I mean, there's, there's a lot of good things coming out of it. I know for me, I've had a lot of good things coming out of it. Um, and it's and I hear that a lot of stories like that from people that I've been working with, just from people that I know. And don't feel bad about that because you're having good experience come out of something so horrible. Because ultimately, and this whole thing with time, like what is time? Maybe this whole thing's just a little quick blip and boom, it's over. So maybe get more into that flow of this love, this high vibrational energy and see, just play with it. It doesn't hurt. Could it hurt? No. So when you're feeling yourself going to fear, choose to go move to love. Even just say, I choose love. And you could be like pissed off and angry and, and like, yeah, I choose love. Linda said, choose love. She's, what, what the heck does she know? <laughs> just play with it. Just try it. Just see what happens. Say yes to love. Say no to fear. So, I mean, if this video helped you in any way, I would love you to subscribe, like, share, comment. I'd love to see some comments down below. Um, I also share this on um, a podcast of mine. I'll put my videos up there. Some people like to listen while they're driving, you know, and uh, it'll be there. I don't even know what I was going to say. I lost. So anyway, I love chatting with you guys and I will see you on another video. Bye for now.